Hi, this is Ashraf again. First of all, and before starting this episode, I would like to thank you all for the wonderful feedback I've been receiving for the whole week. It's amazing and definitely it will help me to continue. Thank you again. I received comments from some followers that I may need to give a short brief about my expertise and my background. I'm a senior airport electrical engineer with 18 years of experience in different aviational sectors. I started my career as an AGL technician, then engineer, till I became a maintenance uh, airport maintenance manager, then a project manager, and now I'm airport special systems consultant. Also, I am an international airport professional IAP by ICAO and ACI, and a member of the Institute of Engineering and Technology, United Kingdom. This episode, we will be talking about the first airport special system, which is the Aeronautical Ground Lighting, AGL. In 1944, the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, was created as an outcome of the Chicago Convention by 192 member states and industry group to reach consensus on the International Civil Aviation Standard, best practices or recommended practices, and policies in support of safe, efficient, and secure, economically sustainable, and environmentally responsible civil aviation sector. Through 19 published annexes, ICAO aims to provide a regulatory framework for the different aviational sectors, in addition to two supportive documents, document 9157, which is the Aerodrome Design Manual, this document comprised of six parts. Part one, to cover the runway design requirement. Part two, to provide guidelines for um, a, a taxiway, apron, and a holding bay. Part three, for pavement. Part four, for visual aids. Part five, for electrical systems. And part six, for frangibility. The second supportive document is document 9137 which is called Airport Service Manual. The first part of this supportive document uh, aims to provide guidelines for um, uh, airport operation services, while the second part aims to provide guidelines for the airport maintenance methodology. The purpose of the AGL system is to provide visual guidance to the pilot in airfield intended to be used for night operation or during low visibility operation LVO. In any of these two cases, the AGL system is expected to provide visual guidance to the pilot in the different phases uh, while the aircraft in the proximity of the airfield means in the approach uh, phase or during approaching landing, maneuvering on the air, airfield or the aerodrome, and then take off again. During approaching and landing phase, the AGL system is expected to provide visual guidance to the pilot in order to achieve three main objectives. The first objective is to help the pilot to define the approximate distance up to the threshold, uh, uh, the threshold of the runway. The second objective is to help the pilot to define uh, uh, the approximate height of the aircraft while approaching. And the last objective is to help the pilot to maintain the horizontal level of the aircraft while approaching to the runway. During landing and takeoff phase, the AGL system expected to provide visual uh, guidance to the pilot in order to help him define uh, the runway boundary and center line, define uh, the angle of slope in order to achieve safe and smooth landing, define the touchdown area where the pilot uh, should aim to land, um, and also to define 
uh, the runway and this will help him to know what is the extremities of the runway so he should not uh, under any circumstances exceed uh, this limit while during maneuvering over the aerodrome the agl system will help him to find his route from the runway through high speed exits taxiway until he reached to the parking stand to reach a better understanding of agl purpose we need to review um, an airfield typical layout a typical airfield will consist of approach area followed by runway which is uh, a paved area with physical characteristics uh, designed to receive uh, aircraft either for taking off or landing high speed exits which is a link between the runway and the taxiway the taxiway itself which is again a paved area with uh, 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 some specific uh, physical characteristics uh, to allow the aircraft to uh, roll until reaching to the apron which is the parking area of the aircraft any airfield or aerodrome should have an aerodrome reference code this aerodrome reference code comprised of two elements the aerodrome reference code is very important to define the physical characteristic of any aerodrome based on that reference code the runway width will be defined as well as the taxiway width in addition to that the clearance distance from or the taxiway center line and any obstacle or rigid object will be defined as well there are two main airfield or airport categories instrumental airfield and non-instrumental airfield the non-instrumental airfield depend only on visual aids no any type of an instrument is serving that type of airfields the instrumental airfield has two subcategories which are the non-precision approach runway and the precision approach runway the non-precision approach runway um, is a runway served by visual aids and directional um, uh, instruments like VOR, DME. The precision approach runways are served by uh, visual uh, guidance aids and ILS. Precision approach runways have three main categories. Category 1 or CAT 1, which is a precision approach runway served by visual aids and ILS intended for operation during uh, visibility uh, greater than 800 meters or RVR greater than 550 meters and decision height greater than 60 meters. The decision height is the height where the pilot should decide whether to land or not while the runway visual range rvr is the distance up to which the pilot stay able to see the runway center line and to define this center line precision approach runway category 2 or cat 2 is a, a runway served by visual aids and ils for airfield intended uh, for operation within decision height less than uh, 60 meter but greater than 30 meters and RVR greater than 300 meters. Precision approach runway category 3 or CAT 3. This category consists of three subcategories. The first one is CAT 3A. This category is an airfield served by visual aids and ILS and intended for operation uh, with decision height less than 30 meters or no decision height and RVR greater than 175 meters. CAT 
3B is uh, for airfield intended for operation um, with a decision height less than 15 meters or no decision height and RVR greater than 50 meter but less than 175 meters while CAT 3C is for airfield intended for operation with no decision height and no RVR limitations. The AGL system purpose and performance is governed by the four C's concept. The first C means coverage, means that each light should be aimed toward a specific angle or direction. The second C is candela, means that each light is expected to produce a specific intensity as perceived by the pilot eye. The third C is color. Each light has different color based on the system. And the fourth C means configuration. Based on the system, those lights will have a, a, a special configuration, spacing, and location. In the coming episode, we will be talking about the AGL system architecture and the function of each component. If you love this video, please don't forget to like and share and to subscribe to the channel. Thank you and see you next week.